Today, I'm gonna to kill two birds, one stone, play with these beautiful new saws for the very first time. And I'm gonna enter this cute little box into the springtime box making challenge. Okay guys, it's all about getting out in the sheds, having fun and making some boxes and see what you can come up with. Yes, it's spring this side of the planet and the key word in this challenge is fun. Remember that. I'll show you how to make it. This is the first prototype and it's crude and ugly, but I've got the angles to work. Fun point number one. Playing with two brand new saws and that would have to be the most fun thing in the entire universe. This piece of timber was part of a pile given to me from a construction site. If you never ask, you never score. Fun point two, free is best. In order to make the fine cuts on small pieces, I need an auxiliary fence. Well, that was a bit of excitement. I'll be careful not to do that trick again. Lesson learned. Fun point three, finding the saw is not damaged. <laughs> the other half of that board is for the box and this would have to be the funnest way to remove paint. Fun point four, stripping paint with a planer. <laughs> now I'm going to put a five degree edge on both sides of this timber strip. This is so that the angled sides of the box sit flat. This exact angle doesn't really matter, but you want it to be the same between the two saws. The first off cut works perfectly as an angled stop block. The top edge for that trapezoidal shaped strip always presses against the top of the fence. I'm going to call this my second prototype because it's too chunky and I reckon it'll look better, slightly bigger. Prototyping designs on the fly. You gotta love the process. Fun point five, working with no plans and no pressure. The process is simple. Flip the strip, cut again. Now to make the lid, and I'm basically just making this narrower with the same five degree angle blade. Now I'm going to cut tiny rabbits using the same five degree blade setup. Yes, that was a smile, or as we say in Australia, rebates. That looks perfect. And next time I'll be using a flat ground blade to make it even crisper. The dry fit is good. And now to do the same with the bottom of the box. That was pretty easy, having fun. To make the base and the lid, I'm using this pallet slat, which has some quite nice grain. I'm reducing the thickness to the same as the rebates that I just cut. 
This is the first time using my saw stop miter gauge and it needs an upgrade. The saw blade is now back to 90 degrees. I made this marking knife in a previous video. If you're interested to check it out, there's a link in the description. Same process for the base. The lid matched up perfectly, but when I cut that rebate, it's now too small, but I can fix that with the sander. Point six. First time making wood putty from sawdust. Fun point seven, applying the finish to a completed product. That would have to be the best step in just about any project. Traditional boiled linseed oil and shellac would have to be the cheapest, quickest, and easiest finishes you can use. You just can't muck them up. I did about two or three coats of shellac. And by the time the first coat dries, you can start applying the second coat. It's that quick. Doesn't that just pop? It's beautiful. I'm going to call this box version one because Version 2 will have a better lid. And these are so easy to make, I'm going to batch out a heap. So stay tuned. And finally, fun point number 8. Making this video. I just love making videos. And I don't know, if you guys enjoyed it, that's made my day. I recently made a blade sharpening jig to change the blades on this old beast. 15 inch auto planer. That'll be a video next week. I've got a big unboxing and review video for this saw coming up. And don't get me wrong, I love it. But the title of the video is going to be Damaged 
defective, disappointed. Quickly, if you like my content and you want to see more, click over here to bookmark the channel with your subscription or click down here for one of my other videos. It's a video that YouTube recommends for you.